This is a bottle of weak nitric acid that I've collected over the years. I'm guessing the collective percentage of all of what I've poured in here is less than 50%. However, there is a way to concentrate this if you need a stronger concentration, and let's look at how we do that. Something called fractional distillation. And fractional distillation is kind of what it sounds like. So I've set up the glassware to do this, and it's a distillation. You can see that right here, okay? But this column right here is where it fractionates. And what's fractionating, sorry, an alarm had gone off there. What's fractionating uh, with the nitric acid is the actual pure nitric acid and the water that's mixed in it to make it 50%. So what happens is I'm gonna pour it inside here. It's a one liter container. Um, as it heats up, it's gonna flow up here, the fumes and uh, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and it boils quicker than the nitric acid, which boils, I think, at 120 degrees Celsius, and um, that's for sure, actually. So the water will come over first as it comes up, drips back down, comes up, drips back down. This has these little holes in it, which end up showing in the inside as um, protrusions. So as these things slowly heat up themselves, the water will make its way up faster, but the nitric acid will continue to drip back down here. So eventually the water will get up to the top, come on over, and I'll collect that here. Once the thermometer up here, you can, can't see it well, but with the right view, you can see it, um, goes from 100 degrees to 120 degrees, I know I have nitric acid. And it will then, so I'll remove that beaker, and uh, then I know everything coming over is nitric acid, and I'll put on uh, another container there to collect the uh, nitric acid. All right, this has been running a little bit now, and I covered the fractional distillation column just to maintain the heat as much as possible. It's kind of cool today, um, and it, it was cooling it down, I think. And uh, it's cleared up quite a bit, which is normally what happens. The nitrogen dioxide gas, the brown gas, uh, is driven out of the solution at first. Um, and you can see over here what's first dripping out looks pretty darn clear here. That's water with a little bit of nitric acid, so it's pretty weak nitric acid. Um, once the temperature reaches 120 degrees, it's about 102 right now, um, the nitric acid will start coming over to here and I'll remove the water. So I've taken off the uh, watery nitric acid. The temperature jumped to 100, from 100 degrees Celsius to 120 which was when the azeotropic nitric acid would come over and started to collect it. And when I started collecting it, I realized that everything that's coming over and what's left in here is azeotropic nitric acid. It's all the same. And to run it through the filter, um, the fractionational distillation, I mean, one more time, didn't make any sense because heat destroys some nitric acid. So I stopped. I'm going to take a little bit out of what came over and uh, weigh it, measure it, see what its specific gravity is, and also from here. And if they're the same, I'm done. If they're not, I'll start it up again, um, meaning that this still has more water than it, this. But if it doesn't, then I'm done.